I think, uh, like most people around the world and in Sri Lanka, uh, we've all been going through the trials and tribulations of COVID-19. And as a result, you know, I've barely done any acting, I haven't done any acting work. Um, not that I've, I mean, I've had lots of auditions. I haven't booked. Um, I've also been sort of afraid to leave Sri Lanka to go to another country without being fully vaccinated. Um, I've been writing a lot. I've been getting a lot of writing jobs, which is great. Uh, cooking a lot and homeschooling <laughs> a lot. A couple of days ago, about three or four days ago, I only knew because um, the writer, the creator of the show, his wife and I are friends on Facebook and she posted about it. And my husband saw it um, and told me. And um, I was really happy. I think it was a good bit of news to have in these t lives and times of COVID. Um, yeah, it, it feels really nice to be included on a list of actors that I really look up to um, and to represent. I just wanted to say I am so overwhelmed by the amount of support I've got from people here. Posting, voting, encouraging messages. It's been, you know, Sasha has, she did a shout out for me. And, you know, we're friends on Instagram and we do chat oddly about our posts and stuff. But I, I can't believe it. Thank you to everyone, you know, for supporting me. I'm really overwhelmed by it. It warms my heart. I've had a really tough year actually, um, career-wise, um, and so, you know, this has been wonderful, the love that has been shown, um, and I'm ever so grateful. First award in England, um, but I have had nominations and awards here in Sri Lanka, which have been equally exciting, and in Spain, um, so, yeah, the first one as an adult in England. It's made me really happy. Um, and I think I really needed something like that. Um, it's been a roller coaster of a year, I think, for a lot of us. Um, and so I think that happiness was what has been great for me. Um, and I don't know what else it could mean. Probably nothing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I don't know. So Mari is um, a very strong, independent woman. Um, uh, she's very bossy, um, but she has a big heart. Uh, so I've loved playing her. It's, it's been a really, you know, because normally I get to play very emotional characters. And Mari has had her moments of drama, but she's she's somebody that you can depend on and go to for advice and help and she's she sees things very sort of black and white if you like which isn't the way i see life but she does um and so it's been great playing her because you don't kind of get bogged down by too much emotion and drama but uh, actually performing mari on set and doing all the medical stuff has been quite hilarious um, it looks really professional, hopefully, when you see it. But Amanda and I have had, the, Amanda plays, Amanda Redman plays Dr. Lydia Fonseca, who's, you know, the, the head of the hospital. And uh, we've had some, well, we've had a lot of laughs with, you know, surgery and <laughs> stitching people up and, <laughs> you know, I'm not that good at that stuff. And that's why I am not a nurse in real life and I really admire the nurses in real life and especially nurses and doctors right now around the world and for me being in Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka and all the hard work they are doing um, considering what's happening right now here and putting themselves in the front line and at risk really real great respect for the nursing profession um, I've always had great respect my aunt is a nurse she was a nurse in England um, but especially now, what, every, what they have to go through and put themselves at so much risk, great respect for them. Um, I am just really happy to be included in this list. I'm up against some big guns there, as you know, Yasmin, if you saw the list. 
there's some really popular actors and some really super amazing classically trained actors there. Um, so I'm just really humbled and thrilled to be part of that list. Definitely. I can't ever get rid of them. I love them, both of them.